The Future Monarchs of Europe. For hundreds of years, monarchs dominated nearly every corner of Europe and the world. And with their oldest sons inheriting the throne after them, the rule of nations was decided by genetic lottery. Following the revolutions and beheadings of the 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries, only 10 hereditary monarchies endure in Europe. I covered the current monarchs in two earlier videos, but today let's meet the heirs who are in line to reign in the years to come. Since 1980, absolute primogeniture, which gives daughters equal right to sons in the line of succession, has been introduced in seven of these ten monarchies. Thus, half of the kingdoms of Europe have future queens in line to wear the crown. Belgium Princess Elizabeth, Duchess of Brabant, was born in 2001. She is the eldest of four children of King Philippe of Belgium and Queen Mathilde. She has three younger siblings, Gabrielle, Emmanuel, and Eleanor. The princess began her education in the Dutch language, breaking with tradition as previous heirs were taught in French. In a small nation divided by language, this was a very big deal. Princess Elizabeth is fluent in English and all three of Belgium's official languages, Dutch, French, and German. At the age of nine, she gave her first public speech at the opening of a children's hospital named in her honor. In 2013, her grandfather, King Albert II, abdicated at the age of 79, passing the throne on to his son, Philippe. When her father took the oath of office, Princess Elizabeth became Duchess of Brabant, the title traditionally held by the heir apparent to the throne. Elizabeth enjoys tennis, skiing, hiking, and scuba diving. She volunteers to help children with learning difficulties, the elderly, and the homeless. She attended secondary school at Atlantic College in Wales and began university at the Belgian Military Academy in the fall of 2020. Elizabeth would be the first Queen Regnant in the Belgian monarchy's relatively short 200-year history. Denmark Frederick, Crown Prince of Denmark When he was born in 1968, he was the grandson of the King of Denmark and the great-grandson of the King of Sweden. He has one younger brother, Joachim. At the age of four, he became crown prince and heir to the throne when his grandfather, Frederick IX, died and his mother became Queen Margrethe II. Prince Frederick attended school in Denmark and boarding school in France. As is Danish royal tradition, Frederick has done extensive service and training in all three branches of the military. He studied political science at Aarhurst University and spent a year incognito at Harvard University in the United States, completing a master's degree. In 2000, the prince went as a photographer on a four-month dog sledding expedition in northern Greenland. That same year, while attending the Sydney Olympics, he met Australian marketing consultant Mary Elizabeth Donaldson. The couple were wed in Copenhagen Cathedral in 2004. They have four children, Christian, Isabella, Vincent, and Josephine. Frederick has an interest in scientific research, climate change, and sustainability, and has written papers and a book promoting these issues. He is an avid sportsman and sponsors various athletic and health causes. He has completed several marathons and Ironmans and is a competitive sailor and skier. He participated in Sweden's Vaslopet cross-country skiing race with Prince Håkon of Norway. In 2009, Prince Frederick was elected to the International Olympic Committee. His heir is his eldest son, Prince Christian, Count of Montpiset, was born in 2005. Christian was the first member of the royal family to attend public school. Since the 16th century, the names of Danish monarchs have alternated between Frederick and Christian. We will likely soon see a King Frederick X and eventually a King Christian XI of Denmark. The Netherlands Katerina Amalia, Princess of Orange, was born in 2003. She is the eldest of three daughters of King Willem-Alexander of the Netherlands and Argentinian-born Queen Maxima. 
Her younger sisters are Alexia and Ariana. Prior to Willem Alexander, the Netherlands had three generations of Queen Regnants, beginning with Queen Wilhelmina, who outlived her three childless brothers to inherit the throne in 1890. She passed the throne to her only child, Queen Juliana, who then passed the throne to the eldest of her four daughters, Queen Beatrix. In 1983, the Dutch monarchy changed their succession from male preference to absolute primogeniture. Beatrix retired in 2013 and handed the throne to her son, King Willem Alexander. Katerina Amalia thus became Princess of Orange, the title traditionally held by the heir apparent, which was granted to Prince Bertrand I by the Holy Roman Emperor in 1173. Katerina Amalia is the first woman to be granted the title. She enjoys horseback riding, hockey, singing, and playing the piano. The princess attends public secondary school near Hochstenbos Palace in The Hague, where she lives with her parents and siblings. Once King Willem Alexander is ready to retire, Katerina Amalia will become the fourth Queen Regnant of the Netherlands. Norway, Håkon, Crown Prince of Norway, was born in 1973. He is the only son of King Harald V and Norwegian commoner Queen Sonja. He has an older sister, Marta Louise, but according to Norway's agnatic primogeniture succession, Håkon became the heir at birth. He was named in honor of his great-grandfather, King Håkon VII, a Danish prince named Karl, who was elected to the Norwegian throne when the country split from Sweden in 1905. Karl took the regnal name Håkon to honor the thousand-year-old Norwegian monarchy. In 1990, when Håkon was 16, the Norwegian constitution was changed to absolute primogeniture, giving daughters equal right to sons in the line of succession. The change was not retroactive, however, so Håkon remains in line ahead of his sister. The following year, King Olav V died, making his son King Harald V and Håkon crown prince. The prince attended the Norwegian Naval Academy and served for a year in the Navy aboard a missile torpedo boat. He earned a bachelor's degree in political science from the University of California, Berkeley, and a master's from the London School of Economics. The prince enjoys surfing and is a big music fan. In his youth, he attended music festivals all over Europe. In 2000, while attending a party during Norway's largest music festival, the Quartz Festival, the 27-year-old prince met commoner and single mother Mette Marit Chiesem Hoiby. Håkon proposed the following year, with the engagement ring his grandfather and father had given their brides. Many criticized the prince's choice of wife for her partying past and having a son with a convicted drug offender. In a heartfelt press conference, Mette Marit explained her youthful rebelliousness, winning back some public sympathy. The couple wed in Oslo Cathedral, with Prince Frederick of Denmark serving as best man. They have two children together, Princess Ingrid Alexandra and Prince Svare Mognus. Håkon is stepfather to Mette Marit's son, Marius. He left Norway in 2017 to attend university in the United States incognito. Prince Håkon is a goodwill ambassador for the UN, a member of Young Global Leaders, and a founder of the Global Dignity Initiative. He is a patron to numerous cultural and philanthropic organizations. He has twice acted as regent during his father's illnesses and is taking a larger role as King Harald, now in his 80s, steps back. Prince Håkon is third cousin to King Philippe of Belgium, Prince Frederick of Denmark, Prince Charles of the UK, and Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg, and a fourth cousin to Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden and King Philippe VI of Spain. Prince Håkon's heir is his eldest child, Princess Ingrid Alexandra, who was born in 2004. As a child, she walked from the palace to the local public school with her half-brother, Marius. She and Princess Katerina Amalia of the Netherlands were both bridesmaids at the wedding of their godmother, Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. Ingrid is currently attending secondary school in Oslo. 
Like her father, she is an avid surfer and won a gold medal in the Norwegian Junior Surfing Championship in 2020. She also enjoys skiing and kickboxing. When Ingrid assumes the throne someday, she will be only the second queen of Norway after Queen Margrethe I of Denmark ruled all the Nordic countries in the 1300s. Spain, Leonor, Princess of Asturias, was born in 2005 to then heir Prince Philippe and his wife, former CNN journalist Princess Leticia. Leonor's birth inspired the Prime Minister to begin moves to change the royal succession from male preference to absolute primogeniture. But the administration ended before the bill could be drafted, and Prince Philippe cautioned that there was plenty of time as he did not expect to be displaced by his own elder sister, Infanta Elena. At two, Leonor was joined by a sister, Sophia, further pushing the primogeniture issue aside. So until the law is changed, Leonor is technically heir presumptive and could still be displaced if her father had a son. The princess attended daycare with the children of the Spanish Royal Guard. In 2014, King Juan Carlos II became embroiled in scandal over use of public funds and faced a low 41% approval rating and serious calls for the abolition of the monarchy. To preserve the crown, the king abdicated in favor of his son, King Philippe VI. Leonor thus became Princess of Asturias, the title held by the heir to the throne since King Juan I of Castile granted it to his son Enrique in 1388. In the fall of 2021, Leonor will begin secondary school at Atlantic College in Wales, as her fifth cousin, Princess Elizabeth of Belgium did. Leonor may someday be the fourth Queen Regnant in the Spanish monarchy's 400-year history. Sweden, Victoria, Crown Princess of Sweden, was born in 1977 to King Carl XVI Gustav and German-Brazilian Queen Sylvia. At two, Victoria was joined by a younger brother, Carl Philip, and according to the male preference primogeniture rules of the time, Carl displaced her in the line of succession. But the following year, 1980, Sweden became the first European monarchy to change to absolute primogeniture, and they did so retroactively, putting Victoria back in first place in the succession and making her crown princess. She also has a younger sister, Madeline. As a teen, Princess Victoria struggled with dyslexia and media and social pressure. As a result, she developed anxiety and anorexia. At 20, she moved to the United States, where she received professional treatment and could escape the pressures of being a princess. She studied political science at Yale University and then interned at the Swedish Embassy in Washington, D.C. She returned home, where she continued her education in business, diplomacy, agriculture, and forestry, and attended military basic training. Victoria has been open and candid about her struggles with mental health. She is involved with campaigns to promote mental health, along with numerous other philanthropic pursuits. In 2002, news broke that Princess Victoria was dating her personal trainer, Daniel Westling. The couple lived together for eight years before marrying in Stockholm Cathedral in 2010. They have two children together, Estelle and Oscar. Both Victoria and Daniel took parental leave from their royal duties when their children were born. The princess has gone on a number of diplomatic visits, beginning with a trip to Japan in 2001. She attends regular council meetings with her father and has acted as temporary regent when needed. Victoria's heir is Princess Estelle, Duchess of Osterjotland, born in 2012. She attends school in Stockholm near Holga Palace where she lives with her family. Victoria and Estelle may someday be the fourth and fifth Queen's Regnant in Sweden's thousand-year history. The United Kingdom and Commonwealth Realms Charles, Prince of Wales, was born in 1948. When he was three, his grandfather, King George VI, died of lung cancer, and his mother was crowned Queen Elizabeth II. Charles thus became heir and Duke of Cornwall. He has three younger siblings, Anne, Andrew, and Edward. 
Charles attended primary school with other children rather than being privately tutored as had been traditional. He attended secondary school in Scotland. After earning lackluster grades, Charles received a place at prestigious Trinity College, Cambridge. He spent a semester in Australia and another in Wales, where he learned the basics of the Welsh language for his televised investiture as Prince of Wales, the title held by the heir to the throne dating back to Edward II in the 13th century. Charles then attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst and served in the Royal Navy. In 1971, he began a relationship with Camilla Shand, who was not seen as an appropriate bride for the future king. The royal family pressured her to break things off with Charles and marry her ex-boyfriend. Charles was pushed towards beautiful, demure, and aristocratic Lady Diana Spencer. They married in St. Paul's Cathedral in 1981 and had two children, William and Harry, but the pair had little in common and didn't get along. Charles soon reconnected with Camilla, Diana had her own love affairs, and the marriage fell apart. They divorced in 1996. The following year, Diana was killed in a car crash. The public outpouring of grief for the beloved princess was enormous. Charles spent the next few years raising his sons in addition to his royal duties and patronship of 400 charities. In 2005, Charles and Camilla finally married. But their affair, followed by Diana's tragic death, have wreaked havoc on both Charles and the British royal family's popularity. Charles is now in his 70s and is the oldest royal heir in Europe, though he has taken on more and more royal duties as his mother has aged. No longer young himself, Charles has passed down many duties to his own heir, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, born in 1982. He attended elite boys boarding school Eton College, where he captained the water polo team. During his gap year, he taught children in Chile and Africa. He studied art history at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. There, he began dating fellow student Catherine Middleton. William attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst and served as a search and rescue helicopter pilot in the Royal Air Force. In 2011, the Prince and Catherine were wed at Westminster Abbey. They have three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. In 2017, William retired from the Air Force and is now a full-time working royal and patron of 30 charities. His heir is his eldest child, Prince George, born in 2013. The prince went on his first royal tour to Australia at nine months, met U.S. President Barack Obama at two, and has attracted a blitz of media attention. His parents endeavor to shield him and his younger siblings from paparazzi. Queen Elizabeth, now in her 90s, is the oldest monarch in Europe, so we will likely soon see a King Charles III, unless he chooses a different regnal name, possibly George, and eventually a King William V and a King George VII. Luxembourg is ruled by a Grand Duke, a rank below a king or queen, but above a sovereign prince. The heir to the Grand Dukedom is Guillaume, hereditary Grand Duke of Luxembourg. Born in 1981 to Grand Duke Henri and Cuban-born Grand Duchess Maria Teresa, Guillaume has four younger siblings, Felix, Louis, Alexandra, and Sebastian. He is second cousin to King Philippe of Belgium. He attended primary school in Luxembourg and then boarding school in Switzerland alongside the Strokes frontman Julian Casablancas. In 2000, Grand Duke Jean abdicated and passed the throne to Henri. As heir apparent, Guillaume became hereditary Grand Duke. He attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst, alma mater of the British Royals, and studied philosophy, anthropology, and political science at universities in the UK and France, earning a bachelor's degree. He joined the Council of State in 2005 and patronizes a number of charities with particular interest in scouting and supporting people with disabilities. In 2012, Guillaume married his girlfriend and seventh cousin, Belgian Countess Stephanie de Lanois. The couple welcomed their first child and second in line to the throne, Prince Charles, on May 10, 2020. 
Liechtenstein is ruled by a sovereign prince, and with veto power and a family fortune of 7.6 billion, the prince of this micronation is the wealthiest and most powerful monarch in Europe today. The heir to the principality is Alois, hereditary prince of Liechtenstein, who was born in 1968. He is the eldest son of Prince Hans Adam II and Princess Marie. His younger siblings are Maximilian, Constantine, and Tatiana. Liechtenstein is the only monarchy in Europe that still uses agnatic primogeniture, which bars both women and their descendants completely from the succession. Alois attended grammar school in Liechtenstein, then the military academy at Santers, as have the royals of the UK and Luxembourg. He then earned a master's degree in legal theory from the University of Salzburg. In 1993, Prince Alois married Duchess Sophie, daughter to the heir of the defunct royal house of Bavaria. The couple have four children, Joseph, Marie Caroline, Georges, and Nicolas. Prince Alois earned banking experience at a London accounting firm before returning home to manage his family's vast wealth. As is tradition, in 2004, 59-year-old Prince Hans Adam II officially handed power over to his 36-year-old son, making Alois regent. While he is the effective ruler of Liechtenstein, Alois will have to wait until his father dies to officially wear the crown. His heir is his eldest son, Prince Josef Vinsa, born in 1995 in London. Josef attended school in the UK, then took a gap year in the US and South America. He followed his father to the Royal Military Academy at Santers and graduated in 2017. On his mother's side, Josef is third in line in the Jacobite succession, meaning he is considered by some to be the rightful heir to the throne of the United Kingdom, as he is a direct heir of Catholic King James II, who was kicked off the throne in 1688. Monaco is also a principality. Its continued existence as an independent nation is contingent on the existence of the monarchy. If the Grimaldi family should die out, then the wealthy micronation on the Mediterranean Sea will revert back to France. Luckily for them, the next in line to the throne is Jacques, hereditary prince of Monaco. He was born in 2014 to reigning Prince Albert II and his wife, South African Olympic swimmer Princess Charlene. He is the grandson of Hollywood movie star Grace Kelly. Prince Jacques has two older half-siblings, Jasmine and Alexandre, both born from relationships his father had before he was married. Jacques is two minutes younger than his twin sister, Gabriella. Even though he is the youngest sibling, the succession rules of Monaco do not count illegitimate children, and males are preferred over females, so Jacques is heir apparent to the throne. So now we know who is waiting in the wings to be the next crowned heads of Europe. But in a changing world where royalty is seen as a relic of the past and elected governments do most of the actual ruling, modern monarchies survive on the goodwill of their people. And taxpayers believing that the charity, diplomacy, continuity, and tourism euros they generate are worth footing the bill for their extravagant lifestyles. In next week's video, we'll examine the popularity, scandals, and approval ratings of Europe's remaining monarchies to get an idea of which are in danger of being abolished before their heirs have a chance to inherit them. Don't want to wait to see the next episode? Patrons get exclusive early access to almost all of my multi-part series on Patreon early. If you would like to become a patron and help me make more fascinating history videos, check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching.